Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're looking for a John Doe found May 1st, 2022, Boulder City, Nevada, age 27 to 61 years old. I believe he was found in Lake Mead, but it says he was found um, at Hemingway Harbor. Uh, 5 foot 6 to 6 foot 1. Let's see, not recognizable, near complete skeleton. And there's a lot of images for his clothing and things like that. So we're going to take a look at the images. And then we're going to look at some John, some missing people. So, and there's a picture. There's a picture. And there's his shirt. And his pants. His shoes, size 11, his watch, it's another image, and now we're going to look at some missing persons. The first one I'm going to do, because he said he's probably from the 1970s, 1980s due to his shoes, but I'm going to go with um, Stephen Thel Kocher, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his last name correctly. Missing since 2001, St. George, Utah. St. George, Utah is not that far away. He was wearing a hooded sweatshirt, a white dress shirt, blue jeans, and white sneakers. And that's not the color of the sneakers they show, but uh, blonde hair, blue eyes. And says he was actually in Henderson, Nevada. And you can pause this and read it if you like, but it really troubles me. He was in Henderson, Nevada when he went missing. The last time he was seen, he was... He had Christmas gifts in his vehicle, and they have video footage, and they have no idea what happened to him. So I'd like to mention his him as much as possible. And you can look at him, and we'll look at the image of the missing man. So you can see if you think they look anything alike. Okay, and then we'll continue on. The next one is James Anthony Shaw went missing from Las Vegas, Nevada, 1971, 6 foot 2, 41 years old. And what was the height? Wasn't it was 6 foot 1? Okay, a watch, a ring, may have been wearing business attire. Uh, the car he was driving was found abandoned in an alley off of West Maryland Parkway uh, between Desert Inn Road and Sahara Boulevard behind west of Wonder World. Near Karen Avenue, west of the alleyway, was Desert in 1971. The car he was driving was uh, a rental, and it talks more about it. You can pause that and read it. Police called the rental to verify ownership. His son answered the call and verified the car. And added that he'd gone on duty at 11 p.m. to relieve his dad from swing shift. Mr. Shaw said, told his son to be careful because he had seen prowlers earlier and added that he was going straight home from work. So he left from the car rental place located. It's Tropicana Boulevard. Anyway, they haven't found him. He's never been found. So we can look at his picture and compare it to one of the images that they created. And then the next one we have is Gabriel Vincent, 1979. Rented property from David Del Morgan, a millionaire, Las Vegas landowner. He rented a storage facility from Morgan. Vincent went missing near the end of 1979. Um... In 1980, Morgan's wife vanished. There was talk that Vincent and Marie Morgan had been having an affair. And you can pause that and read more about it. So, so there's him, and we'll look at his picture, and now we'll look at the other man. So if you think... 
that looks like him or not. And then we have, I can't really see his picture, Kenneth Charles Shock, missing from Las Vegas, Nevada in 1982. Six foot tall, lived in Olathe, Kansas, and was on a business trip in January 1982 when he took a side trip to Las Vegas, Nevada, and then he went missing. So, and you can pause this and read more about this as well. Wow. They found his ID and credit cards in a hotel room of Tracy Petrocelli, who was wanted who was a wanted suspect in some murders. So there's his picture and I don't know if we can even tell if that looks anything similar because the picture is hard to see. And then we have Edward Allen Shea went missing, October 20th, 1985, Las Vegas, Nevada, 5 foot 11. Um, he had some medical conditions. He was last seen exiting a vehicle at Union Plaza in downtown North Las Vegas, foul place suspected. They don't give his clothing or anything. And then we have an, him also on the NamUs. Cases. And then we have Joel, Joe Lewis missing from Las Vegas, Nevada, 1992. Was home working in his house while his daughters were there. His wife came home. He was gone. He packed his suitcase. And let's see. And then we have, I thought this man looked similar. I think his chin, the way it's shaped, looks very similar. See the chin? But I don't know, it might be a little long. Um, he went missing in 1994, so that's way after Las Vegas, Nevada, as they said. Um, him and his girlfriend were reported missing. On October 1994, his girlfriend was found deceased near Baker, California, along I-15. She was not identified till 1994, till October 26, like a, almost a month after. His vehicle was still outstanding. It's unknown if he was responsible for her death or if he was in danger himself. His last known address was in Las Vegas, Nevada. But just the chin kind of reminded me. But like I said, it might be a little bit long. Oops. And then we have, there's him in the NamUs. I guess this would give a bigger picture. Nope, it's a small picture. So, and then we have... This man didn't go missing until 2002. Carl Steven Sanders, six foot three, so he's too tall. His, him and his wife were sightseeing Big Smoky Valley. The couple ran out of gas, attempted to hike to the main road. His wife was located. His clothing was found in the desert. Common for individuals suffering heat stroke. The two had no water and temperature. So I, I really don't think there's any way it could be him. So, and then we have this man all the way in Moab, Utah. And that's pretty far away. But, looking at the facial shape and stuff, I decided I would leave him in. Um, five foot nine. Last seen at a gas station in Moab, Utah. He was a prominent geologist employed by Santa Fe Mining, traveling back and forth between Moab and Albuquerque, New Mexico. So... He so it talks more about how he left Albuquerque August 31st to spend the weekend with his girlfriend. His girlfriend informed police he left her home 9:30 and he intended to go to Telluride or Durango in Colorado to look for condominiums. Anyway, he's been missing ever since. They have no idea where he is. His Volkswagen was found at the Albuquerque, New Mexico airport. 
His tobacco pouch and other belongings were in the car. Traces of blood were found on the pouch, but not enough to determine if it was his. He did not withdraw any money from the bank, and his paycheck and a paycheck was uncashed. Uh, foul play suspected, and his wife was murdered in 1979, and she was found shot to death in her car at that airport. The homicide occurred while he was in Canada on business. He had a watch, description not available, short sleeve shirt, khaki brown shorts, and brown shoes. So, there is that. So, those are the ones that I was looking at. You know, it could be somebody else. But, I guess that I don't know. If you think any of them. Looks like him. And that's sad that that's, you know, there's not a lot to go on. But at least they have an image now. And I hope they find out who it is soon. So don't forget to pray for... Um, this unidentified man, as well as these uh, missing people and their families and their loved ones, because they all have someone who loves them. They're somebody's, you know, it could be somebody's father, their brother, their uncle, you know, they have friends, loved ones that miss them. And so please don't forget to pray for them. If you have any information about who this John Doe might be, Please contact authorities and let them know. If you have any information about the missing, the people that went missing, please contact authorities and give them information. And let them decide what's important and relevant. You know, if you feel like you're not sure if it's relevant or important, just let them decide. Um, it doesn't matter if it's hearsay. Just let them know if it's hearsay and how you heard it. Because you're not going to court to testify. It's not the same thing. You're just giving them the information that you have and letting them decide what's important. Um, please feel free to leave comments and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.